My name is Connor Soley. Uh, I play linebacker. I'm number 18. I'm a junior right now, and I'm studying business finance, and I'm a Sun Devil. My name is Jane Daniels. I play quarterback, number five. I'm a junior. Uh, my major is business, business communication, and I'm a Sun Devil. Uh, I'm DJ Taylor, number 29. I play safety. I'm a sophomore, and uh, I sp uh, study sports business, and I'm a Sun Devil. Hello, my name is Madeline Williamson. I am a junior studying journalism and mass communication, and I am a Sun Devil. My name is Connor Newton. I am a senior studying film and media production, and I'm a Sun Devil. All right, awesome, good job, guys. Um, so first question for you guys. Um, your first time ever seeing the Inferno, the first time you ever see the student section at the stadium, what were your impressions? What were your thoughts? What went through your head? Uh, so, I mean, I grew up in Arizona, so I've always just gone to the games and seen the student section, seeing how rowdy it is. Um, but speaking from a player standpoint, uh, running out of the tunnel uh, at the beginning of the game and just seeing the students go crazy, the fireworks go off, the band, the cheerleaders, uh, just the whole environment is something that you really can't replicate in any way. Um, it's super unique and it's just an amazing experience. Yeah, so my first time seeing Inferno um, is when I came on a, a official visit when I was getting recruited. But other than that, uh, speaking as a player, you know, my first uh, game, my first ever start, I just walk, just run out the tunnel like Connor said. You know, just having that that electricity. You know, you just feel the the passion, the energy from the, the Inferno and the fans. So I mean, it was exciting, and I was happy to go out there and play in front of them. Yeah, the same. Like my first time seeing the Inferno, it was like. It was like lit, like <laughs> so <laughs> running out the tunnel, and then seeing that front made it like better, like a better experience to see for the first time. And uh, I think we had the best intro in college football. Nice, awesome. Uh, so this is a little bit of a different gear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like Madeline said earlier, my questions are more like personal stuff. So sticking with like first time of doing stuff and whatnot. Uh, what made you decide that ASU is the school you wanted to come play for? Uh, yeah, so I would definitely say going back to the point of uh, being a local guy, um, growing up literally since before I can remember going to tailgates and going to games, um, it just kind of always was a dream for me to play college football at ASU. Um, and then furthermore, once ASU started becoming a bigger school, a bigger program, um, and started becoming really a Pac-12 competitor uh, for the Pac-12 championship, um, it was just something that I couldn't pass up. Um, it was an amazing opportunity. My brother plays on the team, um, so just – all the way around, it was just the place for me. Yeah, um, what made me come here, you know, just the opportunity to play, um, play for Coach Herm, uh, play with play with those type of guys, um, play in front of, it just go somewhere else and uh, create a legacy. So that was the main thing for me, is just coming here and be able to play for Coach Herm, uh, have the opportunity to play as a true freshman, uh, and just leave a legacy where I wanted to be. Yeah, like uh, what made me want to come here is just the culture and just. How, how great the school is and the tradition it has. And then being all the way from Florida and coming all the way out here, it just felt like home still. It felt like just to be me and be myself and meet and build connections around Arizona. All right, awesome. Sounds like you guys had some great responses there. Um, going back to the Inferno, <laughs> um, this next question, like every student wonders this and you guys are the only ones who actually know if it's true or not. But does having a student section actually make a difference? And if so, what is the difference? Yeah, I mean, the student section is definitely something that you, like I said before, can't replicate. Um, the noise that comes from the Inferno and just that entire south side of the stadium is just amazing, especially on like a big third down or um, a big play for the offense. Uh, just hearing everybody get up out of their seats and just scream at the top of their lungs. Um, it's just a really amazing feeling. And it's definitely something that as players on the field, uh, it messes with uh, our opponents and the, the teams that travel here to play. So you guys can hear us then? Yeah. Can you hear the exact chance or do you just hear noise? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we both sometimes. I mean, I'm, I just hear noise, really. <laughs> okay, I, okay. I'm so, Be I'm honest. so locked in, I'm so focused in the game. I just hear just screaming. It's, it's not really like any chance or anything, but uh, student section doesn't make a difference, especially like uh, what we experienced on the road. Uh, you know, their student section made a difference. So, you know, we want to bring that same energy here, have, have uh, teams have uh, trouble hearing their, their calls and communications. Uh, so they, we get penalties on them and just stuff like that. Yeah, just like 
the student section makes it like more fun and just make you want to uh, play with a purpose like have a fan base that's the same age and just be out there just uh, root on a football team it just feels great okay yeah awesome awesome so uh you know you guys obviously have lives as students like outside of being athletes right so what would you say is one of your favorite places to hang out on campus um, well, I'm a business student, so I really enjoy just sitting down on one of the tables in Dean's patio and doing a little bit of homework, maybe studying for an exam or something. Um, I feel like a lot of kids at ASU do go through the business school. Um, so in my sense, Dean's patio is kind of the heartbeat of campus. Uh, people are always walking through. It's right next to the Palm Walk and things like that. So for me, uh, Dean's patio is my favorite place to just kind of relax on campus. Nice. Yeah, uh, I'll say for me is the MU. Um, just coming up, come over here. You know, you could grab some food, could hang with some friends, um, and it's a great place to you know come, come just relax and you see you see a lot of different people. Yeah, I think the same as the more union. It's like so much things going on. You can, uh, you can run into people that you've already seen before or already met. It's also a place where you can just like have uh, chill time, like study by yourself, and it's just but it's still like a great environment around. It's like not too loud, but not too quiet. It's just like a lot of stuff going on. The food's right there. It's just a lot of stuff. Nice. I also enjoy the MU. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the food's right there. Yeah. Um, okay, next question for you guys. This is kind of more of a scenario. It's game day, okay? Not sure what you guys normally do before a game on game day, but in this scenario, you're walking around on campus, okay? You run into a student, and the student tells you, oh, yeah, like I'm thinking about going to the game tonight. What do you tell them to convince them to come watch you guys play? Um, well, I feel like for every single game, especially in college football, any game has the chance to be a game of a lifetime to be at. Um, you know, some of these games, you never know, it could end up going to second overtime, third overtime. Um, and it, if I were to tell a player uh, why they should come to a game, it's because you never know when you can miss a game like that, um, especially, like I was saying before, in college football. Yeah, for me, um I mean, we recently did this, um, me and Chase Lucas. We, we were taking some, some photos, and we will drive around a golf cart, and we will ask people that's coming to the first game. Some of us said no. But, I mean, you really, if you don't come to the game, you're, like, missing out on experience of, of college, you know, as a student. Uh, just go out there. Like, football games are, are part of your experience of college. Um, you'll never get those times back. So I would say just come out there and experience, experience something new. You might like it at the end of the day. Yeah, just being able to uh, – I just, like – Basically, like, it's just the experience that you just want to experience and just like, you don't want to be able to like hear about it. You just want to just be able to like, yeah, I want to see myself. Like you have so much, like I said, going on. You have the student section you can be around with your group of friends, even more people. That you can also see like other teams' environments, what, who they bring or just just being there. Yeah, definitely. I go to all the games. Ooh, four <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome, awesome. So you guys obviously are super busy. You have like practices and classes. You have a pretty packed schedule. If you had more time, you know, ASU has over a thousand clubs. Uh, what is a club you might start or join at ASU that you're not currently involved with? Um, so for me, I feel like a lot of the time when I'm not doing football or not doing school, um, I find myself playing video games a lot. Uh, I recently built a PC to play video games on, and it's one of the favorite, my favorite things that I have. Um, so I would say, I'm not sure what type of uh, clubs that they have, but like an eSports type club, I think would be really interesting to be a part of um, and just kind of void the gap between student athletes and, and gamers and things like that and just kind of make new friends, unique experiences. Uh, I think it would be a really great time. Yeah, me personally, you know, um, I'll probably join something like what, what Connor just said. Uh, you know, because other than that, we, we sit up here as, as student athletes, we play video games all the time. So, I mean, just joining a club like that, and like you said, uh, fill, fill that void in the gap of between connecting with different type of people. And you, you get to meet some new type of people, make some friends, some connections. So, it's, it'll be fun. Yeah, I think um, I like to like to like fashion. So, like, I have to probably be in that kind of a range. Like, sometimes just be like chilling and I'd be on my phone. All. Instagram, I see other people's fashion. It's like a form of art. So, like, I think I just want to be in, like, a fashion art type of uh, mm -hmm. club. Awesome. That would be great pretty answers. cool. Yeah, great answers. Yeah. I would be in a dance club. I've always wanted to be a dancer. I'm not very <laughs> coordinated, but 
yeah. could be fun <laughs> if I had the time, if I had the extra time. Um, okay, awesome. So next question, kind of general question you guys probably get often, but how do you balance classes and football? Uh, yeah, I mean, it really just comes down to time management. Um, in college, it's it's not too hard to kind of get a routine going uh, because you come in freshman year and you're taking uh, prereq classes, um, classes that don't necessarily take as much time as upper level courses. Um, so you kind of get into the experiences of what it's like and what it takes, and then you just kind of go from there and start building off of it. <clears throat> yeah, just piggyback off what you said, I, I feel like um, the, the coaching staff, um, the support staff we have to do a good job of helping us out. Um, you know, we got football in the morning and in the afternoon, we got all the time to, to, to do school work and all that stuff. But I mean, it's really, it's really like a choice. Like you, you chose to be a student athlete. Like you chose, you chose this route. Um, you, you offer a scholarship. And you got to abide by that. You got to go to class. You got to do your schoolwork. So it really just comes down to how bad do you really want it. Yeah, like, um, see, like I came last year, so like Corona, it was a big difference. Everything was online, Zoom. So that's also what played a big time management, having to be on that call, to have them sit there and take notes. So uh, just that. Nice, nice. All right, guys, so here's an interesting one. Um, what has been your favorite memory at ASU so far? I know you just uh, started in person basically this semester, but uh, it could be like during a game or it could just be like regular, like walking around ASU. Just uh, your favorite memory of ASU. Um, I would say my favorite memory, um, I'm actually a part of Greek life at ASU. Um, I'm in a fraternity, Lambda Chi Alpha. Um, and just some of the events that we have on just specific weekends, um, particularly in the spring, uh, just because it's not during the football season. Um, just being able to go out with my buddies and just have a good time, uh, just kind of forget about school and football for a little bit and just be a kid for once. Um, it's just any any weekend, honestly, it just has the potential to be a great weekend. Um, but just the spring, Lambda Chi Alpha, and, and just hanging out with my, my boys that are in the fraternity, um, that's just my greatest memory so far. I'll say my greatest memory is um my freshman year when we beat Oregon in uh, the, the whole stadium, the student section, they, they rushed the field. I remember that. <laughs> so, so that's probably, you know, it's a big time game. And like we said, that's something about the experience that you might miss out on. Um, but, you know, just after, after we beat the, the number six ranked team in the, the country, and you just have all the fans and the student section just rushing the field, uh, taking pictures, everybody's just happy. So I was, like, I was probably the best experience for me. Yeah, my uh, best experience is uh, when I scored my first touchdown against uh, U of A in the first, what, like six seconds on the first kickoff return. So that was big, but it was also like, it was kind of down because uh, we didn't have no fans at the game. <laughs> so I wanted, and I just wanted to experience my first uh, territorial cup. But I mean, that was one of the best experiences for me to score my first touchdown against U of A. Nice. All right, yeah, those are all great memories. Yeah, those wow. are awesome. <laughs> Pretty intense stuff. What does it mean to you to be a Sun Devil? Um, I would say being a Sun Devil is to just really buy into the culture. Um, s surrounding the university. Uh, I think for so many years, this university has um, experienced greatness in sports, academics, um, and innovation, just full across the board. Um, so really just living up to that standard uh, that's been set before us from alumni um, and just buying into the culture and, and just wanting to leave this place better than you found it. Um, I think if you do all those things, then you do a great job of embodying what a Sun Devil is supposed to be. Yeah. Um I mean, it's hard to pick it back on the concept. <laughs> I, I say it's coming here just basically leaving the legacy. Like I said, um, you come here, you come to college, like you come here as a teenager, you leave as a uh, as a uh, young man, young woman. Um, but it's just coming here and leaving the legacy. Like you, you come to college, you get to find yourself, uh, see who you really are, see who your true friends are. Uh, you just figure out a lot of stuff. So it's just coming here and it's just leaving the legacy. You come out better than what you came in came in as. You know, like for me, what it is like being a Sun Devil, it means something. It means something to me because, like I said, coming from Florida, you know, coming all the way to the West Coast and experience something new. But uh, like being in Florida, I met a lot of people that actually said like they either a fan of the Sun Devils or seen something of Sun Devils, or they either went to ASU. So I mean, it shows that it's all around, and it's just like a big culture, and it's like it's always talked about, always great talked about.